subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in AWS Certified Database Specialty. So let's get started. Question number 1. A business utilizes Amazon DynamoDB to power a web-based survey program. A database specialist encounters the provision throughput exceeded exception problem during PQs, while survey answers are being gathered. What is the database specialist's role in resolving this issue? Select 2. Your options are A. Change the table to use Amazon DynamoDB streams. B. Purchase DynamoDB reserved capacity in the affected region. C. Increase the right capacity units for the specific table. D. Change the table capacity mode to on demand. E. Change the table type to throughput optimized. The correct answers are Option C and D. A business's customer relationship management system is hosted on an Amazon RDS for PostgreSQL DB instance. According to new compliance rules, the database must be encrypted at rest. Which course of action will satisfy these criteria? Your options are A. Create an encrypted copy of manual snapshot of the DB instance. Restore a new DB instance from the encrypted snapshot. B. Modify the DB instance and enable encryption. C. Restore a DB instance from the most recent automated snapshot and enable encryption. D. Create an encrypted read replica of the DB instance. Promote the read replica to a standalone instance. The correct answer is, option C. On an Amazon RDS for PostgreSQL multi DB instance, a business conducts online transaction processing workloads. After hours tests were done on the database, generating extra database logs. Due to these extra logs, the RDS DB instance's free storage space is limited. What should the business do to handle this problem of space constraint? Your options are. A. Log into the host and run the given command. B. Modify the given parameter to 1440, and wait up to 24 hours for database logs to be deleted. C. Create a ticket with AWS support to have the logs deleted. D. Run the following stored procedure to rotate the logs. The correct answer is, option B. A database professional is required to evaluate and improve a performance-related Amazon DynamoDB table. The database professional determines that the partition key is generating the hot partitions, and hence creates a new partition key. The database professional must apply the new partition key to all current and new data in an efficient manner. How does one go about implementing this solution? Your options are A. Use Amazon EMR to export the data from the current DynamoDB table to Amazon S3. Then use Amazon EMR again to import the data from Amazon S3 into a new DynamoDB table with a new partition key. B. Use AWS DMs to copy the data from the current DynamoDB table to Amazon S3. Then import the DynamoDB table to create a new DynamoDB table with a new partition key. C. Use the AWS CLI to update the DynamoDB table and modify the partition key. D. Use the AWS CLI to back up the DynamoDB table. Then use the restore table from backup command and modify the partition key. The correct answer is, option D. A business uses Amazon Aurora MySQL to power their customer feedback application. Every day, the firm runs a report to extract client feedback, which is then analyzed by a staff to assess if the consumer remarks are favorable or negative. It might take days for a business to contact dissatisfied consumers, and take remedial action. The corporation wishes to automate this process via the use of machine learning. Which method satisfies this criterion with a minimum amount of effort? Your options are A. Export the Aurora MySQL database to Amazon S3, by using AWS Database Migration Service. Use Amazon Comprehend to run sentiment analysis on the exported files. B. Export the Aurora MySQL database to Amazon S3 by using AWS Database Migration Service. Use Amazon SageMaker to run sentiment analysis on the exported files. C. Set up Aurora native integration with Amazon Comprehend. Use SQL functions to extract sentiment analysis. D. Set up Aurora native integration with Amazon SageMaker. Use SQL functions to extract sentiment analysis. The correct answer is, option C. As part of a proof-of-concept effort, 
a financial institution recently established an Amazon RDS for MySQL DB instance. Automated database snapshots have been established by a database professional. The database professional observed one day during normal testing that the automatic database snapshot had not been made. Which of the following are potential explanations for the absence of the snapshot? Select 2. Your options are A. A copy of the RDS automated snapshot for this DB instance is in progress within the same AWS region. B. A copy of the RDS automated snapshot for this DB instance is in progress in a different AWS region. C. The RDS maintenance window is not configured. D. The RDS DB instance is in the following state. ERDS event notifications have not been enabled. The correct answers are, option A, and C. Amazon Aurora is used by a business to conduct secure financial transactions. To comply with compliance regulations, data must always be encrypted at rest and in transit. Which steps should a database professional perform in combination to achieve these requirements? Select 2. Your options are A. Create an Aurora replica with encryption enabled using AWS Key Management Service. Then promote the replica to master. B. Use SSL or TLS to secure the in-transit connection between the financial application and the Aurora DB cluster. C. Modify the existing Aurora DB cluster and enable encryption, using an AWS Key Management Service encryption key. Apply the changes immediately. D. Take a snapshot of the Aurora DB cluster and encrypt the snapshot using an AWS Key Management Service encryption key. Restore the snapshot to a new DB cluster and update the financial application database endpoints. E. Use AWS Key Management Service to secure the in-transit connection between the financial application and the Aurora DB cluster. The correct answers are, option B, and C. A huge gaming firm is developing a centralized method for storing the status of various online games user sessions. The workload requires low latency key value storage, and will consist of an equal number of reads and writes. Across the game's geographically dispersed user base, data should be written to the AWS region nearest to the user. The design should reduce the burden associated with managing data replication across regions. Which solution satisfies these criteria? Your options are A. Amazon RDS for MySQL with multi-region read replicas B. Amazon Aurora Global Database C. Amazon RDS for Oracle with Golden Gate D. Amazon DynamoDB Global Tables The correct answer is, option A. A new mobile game with a team play feature is being released by a firm. As a set of mobile device users interact, an Amazon DynamoDB database is updated with an item detailing their statuses. Using the batch get temp function, the other users' devices periodically read the newest statuses of their colleagues from the table. Prior to launch, several testers filed bug reports alleging that the game's status data was out of current. The developers have been unable to duplicate this problem, and have sought advice from a database professional. Which suggestion would be most effective in resolving this issue? Your options are A. Ensure the DynamoDB table is configured to be always consistent. B. Ensure the batch get -tum operation is called with a consistent read parameter set to false. C. Enable a stream on the DynamoDB table and subscribe each device to the stream to ensure all devices receive up-to-date status information. D. Ensure the batch get -tum operation is called with a consistent read parameter set to true. The correct answer is, option C. Amazon RDS for Oracle with transparent data encryption is used by a financial services organization. At all times, the organization is obligated to encrypt its data at rest. The decryption key must be widely distributed, and access to the key must be restricted. The organization must be able to rotate the encryption key on demand to comply with regulatory requirements. If any possible security vulnerabilities are discovered, the organization must be able to disable the key. Additionally, the company's overhead must be kept to a minimal. What method should the database administrator use to configure the encryption to fulfill these specifications? Your options are a. AWS Cloud HSM B. AWS Key Management Service with an AWS Managed Key C. AWS Key Management Service with Server-Side Encryption D. AWS Key Management Service CMK with Customer-Provided Material
The correct answer is, option B. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.